Hi, I'm Matthew, and I'm here to tell you about the second half of our recent tour to the Far East, which we spent in Singapore. Our first full day began with school visits. Whilst the master and Dr. Dertsap visited the Hua Chong Institution, we went to Raffles Girls' School. After a workshop of singing exercises and a performance by our choir, the school's choir sang some of their pieces to us. We later discovered that one of the original trustees of the school was the abolitionist William Wilberforce, one of St John's College's most well-known alumni, and a close friend of modern Singapore's founder, Sir Stanford Raffles. In the evening, we went to the top of the National Galleries to perform to Joni alumni, and we met Carolyn, the winner of this year's St John's Singapore Scholarship. On Holy Saturday, the boys began the day with a trip around Marina Bay. Afterwards, we began preparations for our concert at the Singapore Esplanade, which sits beside the bay. Our organ scholars, Glenn and James, enjoyed performing on the Kleiss organ, and Glenn gave a demonstration of the different sounds and colours that the instrument can produce. At the concert, we were honoured to perform to Singapore's Prime Minister, Mr Lee Hsien Long, and his wife, Ho Ching, who came backstage to meet us during the interval. We were also delighted to meet Scott Whiteman, the British High Commissioner to Singapore, and his wife, Anne. In 2015, the choir performed at the Lying in States of Mr Lee's father, Lee Kuan Yew, the founding Prime Minister of Singapore. Both were once students at the University of Cambridge. For the encore, we sang Home with Gopal Kambo as the soloist. The piece was arranged by former organ scholar Joseph Wicks, especially for the Lying in Stage back in 2015. On Easter Sunday, we were invited to sing at a communion service in St Andrew's Cathedral, the Anglican Cathedral in Singapore. The cathedral was absolutely packed, and a number of the congregation were standing outside to listen to the service. It was a particularly hot day, and afterwards, some of the choir went to a water park to cool off and enjoy the amusements there. We're now back in the UK, and we'll be back in Cambridge at the end of the month to record our next CD. Our next international tour will be a concert series in the Netherlands at Christmas, including an almost sold out concert at the Royal Concert Gebouw in Amsterdam. We're very much looking forward to the tour.